I am currently at a point where I should have written this down before I just started talking. I'm currently at a point where I was really proud of my vlogs and the work that I've done and the healing that I've done and all of that. And I had just started to realize that I was doing that. And Something happened and I just feel like my voice has completely been stolen from me. Um, I feel like my character is being questioned, which breaks my heart and is like one of the hardest things for me to ever comprehend. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep vlogging for right now. I, um... Social media is such a good distraction for me because my head is constantly always hurting, so it seems that there's always something new on social media, but I think that, um... I just need to take a break, I guess, from four things that I really enjoy doing. Four things being my vlog, Twitter, um, Instagram, and TikTok. I just... Sorry if I'm acting odd, I'm in hour four of an anxiety attack and it's just like, I'm trying to be the most rational I can be right now. Um, definitely not a good week for my therapist to be on vacation. So I don't even really know if this will get posted. Um, I've just been pacing around and I just tried doing some painting and I just came back to the vlog, my platform. <sighs> Things are really, really hard, you guys. And I know sometimes that I let you in on it, but there's just so many layers to it all. <laughs> Definitely more than just a headache, that's for sure. Is this going to be my last vlog for a while? I do not know the answer to that right now. I do know that um, I'm not doing well. I had like a six hour anxiety attack last night and maybe got about four hours of sleep. Oh, I was looking for my water. It's right back there. That's good. Um, I am trying my best to not completely detach, but I am failing. Um, my suicidal thoughts are not good. Um, I just really don't know what to do. I don't want to put my voice out there if it's going to be misconstrued or 
taken out of context. I ask permission before I post my vlogs with the people that are in them. But I started this for me and it for it to be my <clears throat> for it to be my outlet because I want to die and um I wanted to help people. But I don't know if that's what this is exactly doing. So um, yeah, it's Thursday and I just have a lot of thinking to do, I guess. Um, I don't even know if I'll post this. I might just make a different video that says I'm going on a hiatus. I thought I owed you guys a little tiny bit more of an explanation. Um, yeah, life is shit right now, so not a great week to not have therapy. <sighs> um, it's Friday. I finally got a little bit of sleep last night, but things are still not good for me. Um, as you can tell, my hair is unkept because I don't care about anything right now. Um, trying to keep my mind occupied. <laughs> I have a therapy appointment on Monday, thank God, and a neurologist appointment on Monday. So even if I get over this um, anxiety that I'm having for the stupidest reason ever, um, It'll be back. Because my doctor and I will be discussing, ideally, some hard topics. So, yeah. It's like you get one tiny little win and then BAM! You're kicked off the team or something. <laughs> Banned from sports forever. It has been a rough almost two weeks. I am filming this right now, so I haven't edited this video, so I don't know if I put anything in that I've recorded before in, or if it's just this and then me sitting down and talking to you guys. Um, currently unsure of how much information I am sharing. Um, it has been not the greatest last two weeks. Um, I would consider them hell. Uh, as you can see, my hair is not taken care of. Um, and today I got home and my dear little fishy was dead. Which, you know, like, I'm numb a lot of the time. But I just didn't know a stupid fish could mean so much to me. It's just like kind of the cherry on top. They say bad things come in threes, but they come in like three hundreds to me, I feel. I don't know. The regular vlogs will continue. Um, I think, as of right now, that's where I stand. So, okay, bye. So I apologize for the lighting, it's not the best, but I'm getting ready right now and I've been like anxious about making this video um, because, I don't know, because that's just who I am and like I just want to talk about some things so I guess I'm gonna try and do that as casual as possible while I'm getting ready. 
like a real YouTuber. <laughs> um, so something happened and the long and the short of it is that um, I was impersonated by somebody. Um, that's really all I'm probably gonna say and on that but it um, super duper affected me and some huge parts of my life and um, I felt like well A I felt like I was in an alternate universe but B I felt like they had taken my voice away um, so I sincerely was going to those videos before this are like I did private all my socials for like a couple days and like I felt super violated and like I had nobody to talk to about it because um, that's who it involved and um, my therapist was on vacation, of course, as I've said, like 99 times, but she also had experience with this. So I was prepared to talk to her about it when she came back. So anyway, I wanted to delete everything um, and pretty much just go away because that is um, just how I felt. I totally disconnected. Um, I was like, there's no point in this. Uh, why am I even doing this? Like, I'm not even, am I even making a difference after I just realized that I was maybe making a small impact in the world? And I just was, 100% defeated and ready to give up and then some time passed as you see and I um, have decided that I'm going to take my voice back it was a super unfair crazy shitty thing that happened to me but um I know my character <laughs> a I know I didn't send a crazy DM B I know my character and I would not do that even if it was exactly how I felt which is ironic or whatever so, like, I don't know, character is just really important to me. Like, you can't, at the end of the day, like, you'll have people in your corner, sure. Will they be there forever? No guarantees. Um, but what do you have if you don't have anybody? You have what yourself and what you stand for and what you do with your day-to-day -day life. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, hope it doesn't happen again because shouldn't have happened in the first place and B all ties have been severed so working on that in therapy and working on family systems and learning them and learning how to properly process losing them as an adult really fun stuff but you know It's either that or I give up, so I guess for now 
We persevere with fewer people in our corner. So, yeah. Um, that's my story, I guess. That's my voice. Get off my soapbox now. Um, I don't know, just be true to your character. Um, it will always come through in the end, I believe. But nobody knows the future, I guess. I don't know. Ugh, this is so awkward. Okay, bye.